We dismiss history at our peril. Liberty Nation Radio with Mark Angelides. First it was the Twitter files, then the Facebook files, but now the Amazon files, which appears to have flown under the fourth estate radar. Well, we're very fortunate to have with us somebody who did not let it fly away. Liberty Nation's chief political columnist, Mr. Graham J. Noble. Thanks for being here, Graham. Pleasure to be here, Mark. So, Graham, give us the rundown on what the Amazon files are and who's released them. Well, the Amazon files um, are a result of investigations done by the, uh, the, the House Judiciary Committee, uh, which is now chaired by Representative Jim Jordan, uh, Republican from Ohio. Uh, the Judiciary Committee has a subcommittee now that was set up by Republicans and it's called the um, Select Subcommittee on the Weaponization of the Federal Government. And the investigations that this subcommittee has been doing has, has produced what they, or, or at least what Jordan is describing as the Amazon files. Now, uh, he's actually just released on the X social media platform, uh, the essentially the third edition of the Amazon files now. And essentially what it shows is once again, the Biden administration pressuring uh, tech companies to censor certain opinions or certain even certain facts that, that they don't like or that they don't wish the public to, to see. So you wrote uh, an article about this on the page of LibertyNation.com. From what I gather, it, it, it seems that... Amazon were provided with, I think you, you called it a DNP or do not promote list mm -hmm. uh, that they say was provided by somebody within the Biden administration. Uh, and so these books on the do not promote list, it, well, it was, it's not as though they were pulled from the shelves, although that may have happened in some case. I don't know about that. But it, there was no promotion of books based on the viewpoint and this was largely about vaccines right yes yeah yeah essentially the 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 kind of uh, do not promote uh class uh, which is what amazon called it was was created by amazon uh as a result of biden administration officials essentially complaining to them about some of the books that they had were, you know, were featured prominently on the Amazon website. And, um, and these books, yes, were all related to uh, either vaccines or to the pharmaceutical industry. And so basically what happened was that the, the White House didn't actually provide Amazon with a list of books that it wanted, not promoted, but it, but it started complaining about a, a large number of books uh, on this subject. And so then Amazon drew up a list of 43 books initially that they, that they tagged with this kind of do not promote thing. Um, and um, really, you know, some of these books – could be described as anti-vax, you know, anti-vaccination books. They were books that that claimed um, that vaccines either did not work or that damaged the body's immune system or 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 in, in one way or the other were, were just not good for you. That was the claim made by some of these books. Um, however, uh, some of the other books were not really, you couldn't really describe them as anti-vaccine books. They were just books that were that were kind of exploring the scientific research uh, that's been done into vaccines and perhaps exposing certain facts that for one reason or another, the Biden administration doesn't want people to know about. That's the thing with censors. They, they rarely use a scalpel. It's always a hammer. Uh, mm -hmm. Now, there's a couple of issues that I want to dig into on this uh and they're not necessarily related to the amazon papers more sort of a, a free speech position because we, we hear so much about how how bad free markets are and of course the people who are against free market ideas they always call it capitalism because that's that's what uncle Karl marx called it right yeah. um and they say that it's a failed system uh, and that it's created inequality and with, without mentioning, of course, that free marketeering has you know dragged 
millions, hundreds of millions of people mm -hmm. out of a point where they're on the verge of starvation, death, impecuniary uh, problems or otherwise, and, and brought them to a point where the, what they have to worry about is, you know, I, I probably can't afford my Netflix next month. That's, that's my biggest problem. Um, mm -hmm. But again, back to this idea of putting the thumb on the scales of things, it, it's really destroying the free market of ideas, isn't it? Because if you have a government saying, or anything really, I mean, we, we see it with private companies all the time, but of course they're private companies. But when the government gets involved and puts its thumb on the scales of what is not getting promoted, that means that other things that are not as popular or as capable of working within the free market will get overweighted in terms of their influence. And so ideas that might be bad ideas get more weight and prominence against mm. ideas that were at least mm. in the free market of ideas are accepted by more people. So what's actually happening is not just the things that you can buy, it's the ideas that you can be presented with. And I think that's really the reason that I have such a problem with the idea of the federal government asking Amazon to shut down the promotion of, of books that they didn't agree with. Yeah. Uh, well, you know, it's it's interesting, Mark, because just following on from exactly what you say, you take that one step further. Now, you have a uh, an administration and also uh, one party, the Democratic Party, claiming that they are the champions of democracy, that they're defending democracy and that... Uh, you know, and that uh, the the people on the other side, the Republicans and and the prospective uh, GOP twenty twenty four nominee Donald Trump, are are the enemies of democracy. But here's the thing: one thing the founding fathers were very keen on was the idea that okay, you know, we are for a start constitutional republic. We're not a democracy. However, we do have you know we do have a democratic mechanism of electing our leaders. Now, the founding fathers were always big on the fact that. Voters, you know, it's good when when voters are educated on the issues uh, because then they are casting responsible votes. Now, if you are uh, if you are censoring certain opinions and certain facts and you are perhaps therefore, as you said, you are therefore then just just as a result of that, you are promoting perhaps uh you know dangerous opinions or 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 at least strange opinions or you know um or and maybe falsehoods are getting promoted you are you are essentially miseducating the voters mm. and by doing so then you are causing people to vote in a way that perhaps is not in their best interest so you are in fact damaging democracy itself by engaging in censorship and propaganda put that on the back of a beer mat this time yeah. <laughs> all right graham j noble fascinating thought thanks for being here with us today you're welcome up thanks we dismiss history at our peril liberty nation radio with mark angelides